I'm Sister Sarah of the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration, and this is Adoration Talk on the Hail Mary. Let us meditate on the words of the prayer of the Hail Mary. The Hail Mary is divided into two parts. The first part is the original prayer from the Middle Ages and comes from the Gospel of Luke. The second part is a church prayer that was developed in the 16th century and became part of the prayer after the Council of Trent. The prayer from Luke begins with a greeting from the angel Gabriel to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, could be more closely translated, Greetings Mary, highly favored one. Luke is relying on praise prayers from the prophets Zephaniah and Zechariah to describe Mary as the mystical bride, as Israel and the church are both portrayed as the bride of God, so is Mary, through the mystery of being Jesus' mother. The Lord is with thee. Mary is the dwelling place of God. She is chosen by God to bring Jesus into the world. That relationship with God continues as she listens to God throughout her life and meditates on everything in her heart. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. This phrase comes from her cousin Elizabeth in the Gospel of Luke. After Mary learns she is pregnant, she goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth and to assist her in her pregnancy. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Elizabeth recognizes that Mary is the mother of our Savior, and her child John leaps for joy within her womb. As we pray these words, we make Elizabeth's greeting our own. We honor Mary and we pause on the word Jesus, in awe of the mystery that God has become human. Jesus is the center of the whole prayer. It is the hinge between the two parts. As St. John Paul II says, although the repeated Hail Mary is addressed directly to Mary, it is to Jesus that the love act of love is ultimately directed. Jesus is the center of our hearts as he was at the heart of Mary. In this prayer, we grow closer to Christ as we put him in the center of our life. Then we shift to the second part of the prayer. Holy Mary, Mother of God. As the Catechism says, because she gives us Jesus, her Son, Mary is Mother of God and our Mother. We can entrust all our cares and petitions to her. She prays for us, and as we entrust ourselves to her prayer, we abandon ourselves to the will of God together with her. Thy will be done. Together with Mary, we surrender our lives to God. Pray for us sinners is the first petition in this prayer. Though we are centered on Christ and pray all our prayers to God through Christ, here we ask Mary, the only one who knew Jesus, his whole life from the womb to the tomb, to add her prayer to ours. Now and at the hour of our death, we ask Mary, who gave birth to Christ, to help us in the moment when we ourselves are born into eternal life. We ask Mary, who lived a faithful life, to show us through faith the way to living a good life and to resting eternally in God's arms. This short prayer through the words of the Gospel and the Church directed to Mary truly brings us ever closer to Christ. As Pope Francis says, Jesus is the Son, Mary is the dawn that announces his rising. May Christ who loves you dearly always direct your ways and through prayer help you to rest eternally in him. <laughs>